welcome to West Spoken News TV. I am Benjamin Schiller. Our top story, protests across the United States. For the 10th straight day, Americans all over the country and locally protest a police reform following George Floyd's death and police custody. You are looking at footage of the protest that took place in Boca Raton on Monday. The footage was shot by Warren Relic, West Spoken News' founder. He recorded the entire protests on West Spoken News' Facebook page. You can access a live stream from Monday if you go through the archives. The mall was supposed to be the host of the protest. Town Center closed early Monday to avoid the potential threat of looters in the mall. The protesters went down Glades Road, as you can see in the images to my right. The Boca Raton Police Department reported the protest as peaceful and the absolute opposite of the violent riots in major cities. Most of the protesters were wearing masks. Speaking of masks, coronavirus has begun to spread in Palm Beach County and Florida once again. On Thursday, more than 1,400 cases were reported across the state of Florida, which was the highest amount of cases reported in a single day in Florida. On Wednesday, Governor Ron DeSantis announced that all of Florida, excluding South Florida, would enter phase two of reopening the state today. If you need to get tested for the virus, you don't need to go far. If you are out east, you can go to the drive through testing site of Florida Atlantic University. And if you are out west, you can go to the walk-up testing site in the parking lot of Home Depot on 441 and Glades Road. More than 100 vaccines worldwide are in the works for combating COVID-19. The Moderna vaccine has entered the second phase of clinical trials and could enter phase three by the end of July. Some parents have voiced their concerns of sending their child back to school in the fall due to the coronavirus. The Palm Beach County School District announced that they will be releasing their plans for the 2020-2021 school year on July 15th. All parents will be asked to fill out a survey detailing their comfort levels of sending their child back to school and on the school bus. There are multiple plans in the works, but it's safe to say large classroom settings are out of the picture due to the coronavirus. Readers of West Boca News are reporting that 5G towers are being put up across the county. The implementation of these towers will improve wireless connection across West Boca. Many residents have complained to wireless providers and county officials about the slowness of making phone calls or Googling. Construction of the bridge connecting Southwest 3rd Street and 441 appears to be completed, but so far is not drivable for public residents. West Boca News reached out to County Commissioner Mary Lou Berger about the state of the construction of this bridge. She said, the delay concerns the Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, must approve the connection to State Road 7. The county cannot do that approval. County Engineering hopes to get the approval soon so that the project can be completed. High school sports coaches across the nation have voiced their concerns of student athletes returning to practices. Some coaches fear injuries could happen due to the intensity of these practices and workouts before the games. That's it for me today. Remember, the news is always on social media at West Boca News. Reporting for West Boca News TV, I am Benjamin Schiller and have a great weekend.